This week for Skywatchers has a lot of stuff in store. The first up is Jupiter. If you haven't seen the king of all planets th this summer and this fall, now's the time to look. Look towards the southern sky and you'll see a very bright beacon in this constellation Aquarius. It, you can't miss it. It's the brightest star-like object in the night sky. And just to the upper left, if you have binoculars, you'll even be able to see Uranus. Now, if you have a telescope, and I do, and I've been watching the, 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 the stuff now for the whole summer and the fall, I've been able to see Jupiter with a telescope, and you can see the, the cloud bands on Jupiter that are racing at 800 kilometers per hour, and even the great red spot at the lower right you can see on this image, that's a hurricane three times the size of the Earth. And you can see this through even a small telescope from your backyard, really amazing stuff. Now, turning to the moon, starting on Sunday, October 24th, you'll be able to see it pair up with a, with a beautiful star cluster, M45. M45 is 400 light years away. It's a beautiful sight. With, you can see it with the naked eye. It looks like a fuzzy patch. And with a pair of binoculars, it is really spectacular. A jewel box, for sure. Then by Monday night, the moon will have jumped to the lower left of the star cluster, still pairing with it. And then on Wednesday, October 27th, you'll see M35, and it'll be a beautiful star cluster right above the moon. And this is 2,800 light years away. A really amazing sight, a cluster of over 400 stars all huddled together, right available for your viewing. So something you can see over the next, next week, it's amazing, star clusters, the moon and Jupiter. So if you'd like some more information about the night sky, please visit my website, thenightskyguy.com.